really put, pr pleased our group was uh, able to keep its composure and uh, catch it win and, and kind of get a reset at halftime um, after a kind of rocky first half. Um, I thought we did some good things in the first half, but to turn the ball over way too many times. I think we had 11 turnovers at half. Um, and just wanted to kind of settle down and make sure we we uh, we got quality shots and ran a little better offense. But I was really proud of um, multiple guys who came in and gave us contributions. Um, you know, we we're playing a little shorthanded tonight in the front court, and guys stepped up and made huge plays and huge contributions in order to earn you know a victory against a really quality program uh, on the road. Coach, what was your thought process in kind of going through the matchups that you went through against Isaac Conte, especially when the fouls started piling up? Yeah, I, I know we, we were kind of uh, concerned about that going into the game. And unfortunately, Jay picked up two quick ones. But, you, you know, we had, we had prepped uh, Q, uh, Amanga, you, you know, he was going to get the next shot at him. And, and I thought he did an unbelievable job of kind of just giving us that that inside grit and toughness and allowed us to kind of settle the game down. Um, and then J Jason was able to come back in and play them at more his natural position of the, the, the four and he was able to hit some big shots, but we got great contributions with everybody. Javon Hadley made a couple of really big plays and some nice contributions. And then what can we say about Shaq Walters coming down the stretch made big shot after big shot. So it was a, it was a great team win and um, you know, another hard fought CAA game. And, uh, you know, we're, 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 uh, we're pleased to get out of here with a win. Coach, Coach, what were you looking for at the end of regulation there? It's kind of tough. Uh, you, you know, I, 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 to be honest, I, I really don't usually take timeouts in those situations. I usually have a strong t trust with our point guards, but, you know, we were kind of, it was about five seconds. We didn't look like we were getting anything. And we were trying to get a backside flare with Tyson uh, and a, sk a skip over the top, but it didn't materialize. And um, so, uh, it, you know, we kind of, you know, I didn't help our guys at the end of regulation, that's for sure. But luckily they bailed me out and, um, you know, did a great job in the overtime. Coach, in the second half, you only gave up 22 points compared to the 46 in the first half. What adjust, adjustments did you make at halftime, especially to stop like Conte um, and the big presence they had underneath? Yeah, well, you know, a lot of those points came off our 11 turnovers. So, you know, we, we, we help our, our defense when we play better offense. And uh, we took much better care of the basketball in the second half. Um, and, uh, you know, so that's, that's really uh, – what helped us? I thought I thought our, our our general overall half court defense was wasn't bad in the first half. It's just that they either got out in transition, off off misses or uh, or off turnovers. Coach, can you talk about the adjustments you made to the rotation due to fouls, due to matchups, just as the game wore on? Yeah, I, I mean, uh, you, you know, we we knew we were going in with a with kind of a, a limited bench, but uh, you know, we were trying to keep. You know, they, they got a couple of really good players, and I've, I've said it, you know, a couple of times leading up to this game. I, I think they got three of the top 15 players in our league, um, guys that can score the ball, guys that can play our difficult matchups one-on-one, -on -one, and if you help off them, they can really create offense for other guys. So, um, you know, we had our hands full, you know, first and foremost inside, and I, I, I think, you know, Isaac Conte had his way in the first half. Uh, I don't think he missed a shot. Um, but we – you know, I thought we, we came a, a little better with the double uh, in the second half. We kind of, you know, kept them a little bit off balance. Um, and, and then, uh, you know, Jalen Ray is a terrific player and, and Trey Colburn's a terrific player. So you got to make sure you get up and you, you defend the three. And I thought that was one thing tonight, I, you know, looking at the box, they, they, they were five for 20 from three and they were terrific three point shooting, shooting guys. Coach, I mean, th these were the guys who ended uh, your season last year. Was there, I mean, either for you or for, for any of your guys, even in the back of your head, just kind of thinking like there's a little bit of revenge in, in getting to come into their house and, and, and try to take one from them, especially a team that's, that's still this good? Totally different teams and totally different, you know, situations. Just, we have so many young guys. I mean, we had really nine guys eligible for competition tonight. And, you, you know, four of them were freshmen 
and, and four of them are sophomores who, who saw limited time. So, you know, those guys didn't, weren't, weren't a big, big part of that, you know, outside of Tyson and, and Jason got a little run, but everybody else in the shack, everybody else, this is, this is a whole new ball game. And they're trying to establish their own identity, um, their own style of play and, and their own contributions. And, you know, I think they're, they're off to a great start in CAA play and, you know, hopefully we can build on this win and, um, you, you know, gain a little bit more confidence as we go along. Coach, um, after coming off a tough non-conference schedule, you're now 3-0 and in CAA play. How confident are you going forward with the rest of your schedule, knowing that you've taken these first three games? I, I was confident, you, you know, when we're going into Syracuse and West Virginia. I mean, I, I like our group. And, you know, the big reason is because they're coachable. They come in and work every day and, um, it, it, you know, uh, they understand the difference between uh, coaching and criticism. They don't take it personally. They want to get better, um, you, you know, and they want to win. And, you know, you saw guys step up and make plays. Uh, so when you have a group, a locker room like that, and you have a, you know, a leader like Tyson Walker um, and Shaquille Walters, you know, those guys are going to keep the young, younger guys in line and, and teach them the right way, how to compete, how to do it the right way, and, and how to stay in the fight. And we talked about that at halftime. You know, we got to make sure, we, we, you know, if nothing else, that we go out and compete. And um, I believe we did that in the second half. A couple more questions. Yeah, Coach, can you speak to what exactly made Kieran Amenga such a good matchup inside today on Isaac Conte and how he was able to have so much success? Yeah, I mean, he's just got, you know, he's got a low center of gravity and he's, and he's, got, he's got grit and toughness. And, uh, you know, he's, you know, he's a kid that stepped in, I think took three or four charges when we were at West Virginia. He's not afraid to give up his body, not afraid to get on the floor. He's a, you know, he, he puts a body on somebody to box out. Um, and he just gave us that backbone uh, that we needed um, to, 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 to allow our team to get a little bit more confident um, because they were having a, their way with us down there. And, Getting fouls, layups, dunks, offensive rebounds, and um, you know, I thought I thought you, you know his contribution was he settled the game down and, and, and let us gave us a chance. Last question, Coach. Um, you guys had 24 team assists today with Tyson getting nine and Shaq having six as well. How do you feel like you executed your half court offense overall throughout the game? Yeah, I, th I thought in the first half we were kind of standing and staring down passes and. You know, balls got tipped. We didn't have enough movement. Uh, second half, we were a lot better just, you know, finding cutters and getting into the seams of the zone and penetrating and finding teammates. Um, and when you're sharing the ball, you know, that's always a, a, a big metric for us, assisted baskets. And, you know, certainly in the second half was a different story. So ball security is going to be a big thing for us because when we get good shots, we do, do a nice job with it. But uh, we, we, we got we to still look to improve in that area.